What's going on everybody? Welcome back to droidlife.com. Gonna whip through our first tutorial today using the incredible. Kind of cool, it's like a monumental thing or something for droid life. Anyway, what we're gonna look at today is the Skyfire browser, okay? Skyfire is the new browser which hit the market today. It's in, still in beta form, um, but it essentially plays flash video, which is pretty cool. It's the first browser that's been able to do that. While it doesn't play embedded flash video like a normal web page would, it is able to find flash videos on pages and then play them. So that's kind of cool. So when, when, when I show you this, you're gonna go, what, our phones already do that? Well, no, they don't. They only do that with YouTube videos. Now you can do this with every single video. So anyway, when you first pop this up, you'll get this whole tutorial. You guys can walk through that. Then you get this sort of like chiclet bookmark, bookmark thing which gives you a bunch of sites which essentially have flash video all over them. Um, some other things I want to show you though before we get into that, you got your bookmark button up here. We got the window button up here which is my favorite which shows you if you have multiple tabs open. I wish the Android browser would do that. Anyway, other option up here is this like half Android half screen guy. If you click this, this is a pretty cool feature actually. It allows you to load every single page you go to as if you were a desktop, you know, computer, or if you are an Android phone or an iPhone phone. So if you if you go desktop, it'll skip out on all those crummy looking mobile versions of web pages out there, which is a pretty cool feature, I think. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and keep selecting on that. And then over here, lastly, you got this little pull-down menu with settings and your downloads and you know all that good stuff. So anyway, let's jump into this. Uh, what we're gonna do first is just show you Droid Life, because that's our baby. And when you pull up Droid Life, this is what you're gonna see when you run into an actual website that has a video on it. See right here, this little bar pops up and it goes, hey, we found a flash video that was on your site, or we found a video in general. Okay, so it pops this up, and what you can do then is just tap and click that, and it'll take you and play the actual video. I'm on Wi-Fi, and for some reason, YouTube videos are sort of struggling to actually play, so I'm gonna skip that. We'll show you the video later. Um, but to get away from that, you can just tap in your browser, and that goes away. As you can see also on the website, it's not actually displaying that YouTube video there, which is you know kind of annoying to me because I embed quite a few videos. So it looks like two posts in a row are just blank. Anyway, that's just a nitpicky thing of mine. Uh, the other cool thing is, well, I'll just show you, if you want that menu to come back, all you do is hit menu on your phone and it comes up and it shows up video down there, explore, share, and you can do all that stuff. Um, the browser though, it does load the exact desktop version just like it says it will, which is kind of nice. Um, it does have pinch to zoom, but the pinch to zoom is awful. You see that, how it goes in like different layers or steps or something, you see that? It's not smooth and fast. Look at that, I'm going fast and smooth and it is struggling to keep up with me. So their multi-touch, you know, needs some work, that's for sure. But that video feature, flash video feature, could get a lot of you to actually use this thing. So um, you can go landscape too with this still get it all as you can see it kind of struggled once i went landscape and did my multi-touch to really display everything correctly but remember this still is in beta so you know it's going to struggle somewhat you know you can use multi-touch there too and it still kind of struggles so um but like i said my favorite feature is up here if we go up to our open a new tab we can go tab and let's just go espn because we know they got some flash video going on and if i tap that I was assuming that would actually open. Let's go ESPN, don't let me down. Not working, that could be a bug or I just don't know how to use the thing. Let's go back in here, close that, new tab. Let's try this one more time, ESPN load. All right, it's not loading. ESPN go, okay, I will manually do this if that's what it's gonna take to get us there. And sure enough, here we go, okay, so ESPN. So we all know ESPN has flash like crazy. And for those sports nuts like me out there, we wanted a browser to actually work. So it displays ESPN correctly. Um, and then if we go to, you see this link right here, it says playoffs, and that's actually a little camera. If we click on that, it should take us to a page that has a video on it, and we'll see what happens. If it wants to do that. Struggling, struggling, there we go, loading up now. All right, takes us to the NBA playoff page, and there we go. Pops up and says, let's play this video. And this is not a YouTube video, so this is not like, you know, your normal Android browser. Oh, and then we crashed. Crashed in the middle of our review, not good, Skyfire. Let's try that one more time. 
Remember, this is beta, people. Give it a little bit of a break. Let's try that one more time. Playoff video. Takes there. Take it away, Incredible. We could be blaming the Incredible for all this misfunctionality or something, too. So, anyway, ESPN pulls up, and you can see, you know, there's no, it doesn't show you the actual video embedded, um, but it did give us that option that there was a video down there. So, if we click on that, we click on the video that it wants us to play. Here we go. Starts loading. Like I said, I am on Wi Fi, so this should be fairly fast. I did run into issues with YouTube videos and they would not play, and that was frustrating. Let's see what we get here, though. True flash video. And we're stuck. Maybe Skyfire is just overloaded with everyone testing it today, but I am not having any luck. It'd be really nice if I could show you guys the video actually playing. Error. Difficulties with this video cannot play it at this time. Sorry for the inconvenience. Alright, let's try. Let's go try to play a different video. I promise this actually does play flash video. I don't know why it's not doing it right now for me. Oh, no. And I'm struggling. Like I said, we could blame the uh, Incredible. We could blame the Incredible. All right, let's go check out Tiger Woods. See who he's hooking up with these days. Actually, that did prompt me. Video. You can see right there, flash video. Wants me to play it. Let's see if it works. There we go. We got one to work. Yay, celebrate. I didn't hit the ball very good at all today. Um, had a two-way miss with everything today. So there we go, people. Full balls. on flash. You can just uh, tap. As far as I know, you cannot. I try and be easy on myself. But you cannot actually, you know, scrub and scroll around up there to fast forward in the video. No big deal. You can't do that in most flash videos anyway. Uh, we can mute her over here. You can share it, all kinds of stuff. But this is playing flash video right now. This is not just a YouTube video. This is from a website that only displays flash video, and we're playing it. Like I said, it doesn't actually play it embedded in the website like we kind of wanted, but this is pretty good, though. All we do is video, bam, there we go, flash video. Pretty cool. So, uh, Xcope, I'm sorry, Skyfire browser, beta, in the market, for free. Um, we just ran into a few bugs like you saw there, but otherwise, man, check this thing out if you want to play Flash video and some of your big sites are embedded with a ton of Flash. Anyway, check us out the blog, droid-life.com. We're out. Peace.